Right, I think we're recording. Right. See, so make sure that that thing's not in there. Yeah, it's not in the view. Right then, my good friends of YouTube. <clears throat> Sorry, I've not done any videos for a while, guys. I've um, I've not been too well, and I did promise the um, the coil run and the scrapyard video. And of course, because I've been uh, not well, I've not been able to do that. But hopefully, this weekend I shall be able to, uh, you know, get a video of the scrapyard for you, and hopefully the coil run. Excuse me, because I've um, I've been waiting and dying for so long to uh, to do this coil run, and unfortunately, I've it's been niggling at my mind. Going, oh, I want to do this coil run and try that new toroidal top load, but unfortunately, I've not been well, and it's been peeing me off. Even though I've been ralphing down the old um, porcelain telephone, <laughs> I've. Uh, I was thinking in my head still that uh, I want to do this bloody coil run, but um, and I've missed the scrapyard as well, and hopefully I've not missed anything that uh, has been a, of any use for myself, and it's probably been crushed up and squashed and sent to the incinerator. But uh, hopefully my friends there have been saving anything for me if there's been anything pretty good. But uh, anyway, today's run is uh, today's video um, is a run of two CRT televisions which I've uh, found off a website called FreeCycle, and. Um, of course, uh, as soon as I, they were uh, online, um, I got an email telling me that there's some TVs, and I thought, ooh, I've not done a TV video for a while, I'll grab those. Of course, I do love me uh, uh, line output transformers, flybacks as they're known, and uh, it's two more to my collection. One of the CRTs is a 26 inch, and um, it was completely filthy inside, full of dust, and uh, quickly got me brush in there and cleaned as much of it as out as possible, because at the end of the day, powering these things up you should always try and keep an eye on the, the dust rate inside these things because they do they do uh, tend to gather quite a lot of dust so I cleaned it out as best I could because it did stink as well and it's um, it's a little bit, a little bit more uh, safer to uh, run a television so I about me rambling the other CRT is an older one it's in its 90s um, due to the fact of how old it is I'll show you it during the video and uh, that's a 14 inch and this one's made by Seisho and it's a CT141X quite an old looking thing and um, <clears throat> the other one's um, made by Dura brand which is some strange name and uh, it's got a Thompson tube and this little one, the 14 inch one, has got an Orion tube um, the Dura brand I'll tell you the model number of that is PTV seven zero is it seven? Yes, yeah, seven. I better get closer to that and just confirm. Yeah, it's a PTV seven zero one seven. So <clears throat> so then, why I'm doing this video? Um, I'll have this magnetic pen just here on the uh, off the coil off the back of the the tube. Um, which um, stabilizes the the outputs from the electrons you know in the the, the electron guns uh, in the back of the tube um, it lines everything up and keeps everything stable to how it should be if I am correct I can't remember but uh, might be wrong I'm sure somebody will put me right but um, yeah let's uh, hopefully see some chrono and some nice output from this thing I've got a CO2 fire extinguisher on standby just in case I've got any unwanted flames and some magic smoke which should be good <laughs> so <clears throat> let's get the video rolling and hopefully it should be a good one right, uh, can you see that pen just down there you should, yeah. You know, the strangest thing is, I just did a quick test on this, and even though I've got the plastic ring around the uh, the cable just there, which stops it from pressing against anything it shouldn't be, um, I still feel uh, the voltage through these, which is quite strange because there's no actual physical contact. But I do believe it to be because it's black, and it's probably made with carbon, so that could be why, which I don't understand for saying it's not doing its job it should be. Right here we go, we're all plugged in. 
always be careful doing these jobs, guys. Uh, these experiments, guys, because you are dealing with lethal voltages. You're dealing with the output from the line output transform, which is high voltage, and it's 25,000 volts plus, and of course mains voltage of 230 volts. So always be extremely careful doing this yourself. Fire! Fire, quick! <laughs> that put it out. <laughs> Sorry. It's almost been burning. Something going on, I can smell it, I can smell it. Yep, something's getting hot. We'll just double check that again. Yes, I've got the I forgot to say I've got this earthed as well, look. To the uh, to the garages um earth. Ah, you see that's getting warm. This heat sink down here. I don't know if you can see that. This is warm. Always be careful sticking your hands in the back of these as well guys because the capacitors do hold a charge electrolytic um, capacitors, the round ones, the DC ones Firebox warm Sorry, no it's not, it's just cold Don't know why I said it's warm But yeah Resistors are all just warm The main porcelain ones Ceramic ones should I say Porcelain, whichever you want to call it, They're a little warm, but uh, yeah, I think we should try this one next, shouldn't we? See if we can get anything out of that one. So, while I'm wiring it up, I'll uh, pause the video. Okay, then, guys, <clears throat> we are now wired up for the 14 inch Seisho CRT television and these are the little buttons off the front I don't know whether or not to keep this one and have the and take apart the other 14 inch TV which I've got in here which is an Alba which is a, a 2007 I think it is or take this one apart and keep the Alba because uh, the Alba one has got a SCART socket and video output on the back so a video output should I say uh, input on the Alba, where this one hasn't, but this is basically it's you know it's uh, it's a classic classic CRT. So I'm just going to uh, arc this out straight to the actual um, static Corona strap at the back of the, uh, the the tube instead of to the actual capacitance um, layer of um, I th I'm not quite sure I can't remember the name of it now that that's coated on the back of these CRTs. I'm sure. One of you good friends will point that out for me, because I can't remember what it's called. But it's it's something to do with the um, to enable the capacitance for the tube, so which enables the flyback. Of course, as you know, the flyback arcs um, lines across the TV. That's why it's called the line output transformer is called a flyback, because it does the flyback of the the lines. So here we go. No pushing of buttons on this one, just plug in and switch on and away you go and already you can hear that familiar awesome Corona oh the resistor's getting up extremely fast 
in fact, very fast. <laughs> My God, you was getting hot. You're unplugged safety first. Oh, bloody hell, yeah, that is hot, guys. I did not like that at all. It's only a 5 watt, 5.6 ohm. I could do with a little bit of a heat sink on that, I think. But these things are made, these resistors are quite good for this. That's why they're, they're a ceramic type resistor, due to, um, you know, because they do get excessively warm. Let's have another quick go of that, show because it was quite a nice output from that. Oh shit, come out of my hand, see it's, I was quick on the plug there, because my hand is always on it. Bloody hell, and it doesn't smell very nice neither. <laughs> down enough to have another go, what do you reckon? Let's turn it around a little bit more for you so you can see it. Torch on it. There you go, you see look. There's that resistor just down there next to that inductor and green capacitor. Go on it straight away. So they've got a nice output. <clears throat> I better think I better just be able to have to, I'm gonna have to make sure just in case. <coughs> there we go, just to make sure that it's out. <laughs> Jesus, that was cold on my legs. Whew. Cool. That was a loud one. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. I had curry. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Yeah, strangest thing is as well is that this was on here. And it wasn't even connected up. Now, how weird is that? Unless it was something to do with testing this uh, unit when it was in, you know, when it was when it was commissioned. I'm not quite sure. Well, yeah, it's very strange. A little bit of a coil inside of there. So, hope you enjoyed the videos, guys. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some Tesla coil video very shortly in a scrapyard walk around. Um, Look after yourselves, whatever you're doing, be careful, safe in all your projects. And of course, if you are dealing with CRT TVs, guys, please be extremely careful. I don't want any of my friends shivering and, you know, shaking on the floor after a lethal shock. Because, of course, if you've got a weak heart, it will kill you. Uh, so, anyway, thanks for watching. Look after yourselves, be safe. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll speak again. Bye, Coyle. <laughs> oh, can't wait for a video of that.